week two, day one. Today was a largely monumental day in fundamentals of conducting. We learned that there are not one, not two, but three, three patterns. There is the regular conducting pattern, there is the Italian conducting pattern, and there is the German conducting pattern. See it for yourself. We then went on to rehearse these patterns, and I'm just saying that even though I recorded these videos of them, it does not mean that they're correct. I still do not think that my Italian 3 pattern is correct. It's supposed to be legato and flowy, and not really showing the edges of the pattern, but always going back to the ictus. So even though I can't really show you properly without more practice, can explain it to you. Once again, if you want to find my notes, tab bar, notes, click, you'll find it. We then started discussing um, two patterns when Breda went up and conducted for the first time, and we learned about the Abraham's two pattern, and then Matteo invented his own pattern, the Neri two pattern. And the rest of the class, we just worked with Breda and talking to her about her conducting, which once again was very, very good to learn off of since she conducted a piece different than the conductors previously had conducted. So it gave us different, you know, constructive criticism with her as well as, you know, working with the class and, you know, discussing that there's the Abraham's two pattern and now the Neri two pattern. And, um, we're just looking forward to Wednesday. He said that he, by he, I mean Dr. Abrahams, wants to have more of us conduct throughout the week. So possibly we'll be having a conducting video up here in the future. Week two, day two. Today class did not meet due to the fact that all morning classes were canceled because of the ice storm. So I don't have anything cool or fun to report today. Nothing interesting. Even though we didn't have class, I'm still keeping up to date with my reading assignments and the music that needs to be learned for Friday. So once again, hopefully next time I'll have conducting videos, maybe. All right, so um, we'll speak again on Friday. Today was a good day. Good day, good day. Today was a good day. Uh, it's Friday. It is week two, day three. Week two, day three. Yeah. And as you can tell by my tremendous amount of excitement, I conducted in class today. Yes, ma'am, I did. I went there to class, and um, Dr. Abrahams asked for who would like to go first, and I raised my hand, and he called on me, and then I realized I raised but um, I overcame my nerves and I conducted um, a piece out of the Benjamin Britten book. So here is a tiny little clip of my first time conducting in Fundamentals of Conducting. Obviously not the whole clip. If you want to see the entire video, if you go up to the tab bar, 
and press um, conducting videos and just click on that, you will see the entire video. So you can watch that from beginning to end. It also has um, my criticism and critiques from the end of class from my classmates and from Dr. Abrahams. Um, also, if you want to look up actual rubrics that I was graded with from my conducting experience today, if you look on the tab that says conducting rubrics, click on that and there will be a few displayed there for you to see. Um, my first time conducting, wow, um, it was very nerve-wracking actually um, because conducting in front of your peers is one of the most terrifying things that I can imagine. It's the same as singing. Singing in front of a thousand people that you don't know is rather easy, but I mean, if you were to sing in front of your mom and dad, it's a lot more difficult. I guess because you're, you care, you care a lot about their opinion. So I went up and I conducted, like I said, the Britain piece out of the little book. And, um, I don't know, it's kind of one of those things where I don't really remember what happened during. I just kind of remember like getting up there and then being finished um, because you're so nervous. But I think I did rather well. Um, I think that I obviously have a lot of stuff to work on and my goal is to eventually be able to use the baton in my conducting. I brought it to class today but I kind of wimped out using it because I was scared. So hopefully next time I'll be able to muster up the courage to use my baton. Um, the rest of the class we just had people conduct. It was really great. We had people conduct pieces that we hadn't done before and now we're starting to realize that we need to know how to play the piano part because Dr. Abrahams will miscellaneously call on you to play the piano part. And not only does it make you look silly if you can't play it, but it could possibly mess up the conductor that's already nervous. So I have to go down to a practice room and practice these pieces so I don't <laughs> inconvenience any of my classmates. Um, well, I think that's about it. Overall, it was a very, very good week because we learned a whole lot in the first day of class. Unfortunately, we didn't have class on Wednesday, but today was an incredible class. Dr. Abraham says that in class on Monday, we're just gonna have more people conduct since not everyone has gotten a chance the first time around yet. But yeah, I think that officially concludes vlog video number two for Fundamentals of Conducting with Dr. Frank Abrahams. Um, I'm Lauren, and I'll see you next week.